I speak to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Well, good morning. I hope you all are doing well and have started the new year off in a positive way. I don't know about you, but with all this rain and cloudy days we've had over the past weeks, it sure was good to see the sunshine yesterday and put me in a better mo mood, and I know we got another one today, so I hope you get out and enjoy it while it lasts. School is getting ready to start back up this week, so I know a lot of moms out there are getting ready to really throw down and celebrate. <laughs> I'm half joking about that because I do think kids need routine, and when they are out of routine, it can be difficult. But man, for our family, actually, we had a good time being together. Time sort of slowed down for us over the break, and it was needed. I hope all of y'all had some time to be refreshed over the holidays. Again, I think it's good for us to get out of our routines every once in a while. You can see things differently. You see things differently. Sort of like this story in our gospel today, I've been seeing this story differently this year. I've been seeing it differently. And we all know the story, right? Our epiphany story, the wise men coming to see Jesus, following the star which leads them to Jesus, where they pay him homage with their gifts. But again, I see it a bit differently. I mean, they're following the star, then they get sidelined, they go to Jerusalem, which is not where the star is, but I guess they assume that the king would be in Jerusalem, that makes sense. But then when they're in Jerusalem, notice they start asking questions. Where is this child who has been born king of the Jews? For wise men, that's not the smartest thing to do, knowing that there's a current king sitting there, a paranoid one at that. And so, of course, the talk gets back to Herod the actual king of the Jews, and he calls them up, finds out they should go to Bethlehem, he sends them off. So they get sent to Bethlehem, they see the star there, they pay Jesus homage, and then they give them their gifts, right? What I realized this year is that they never realized that Jesus was God. They never realized that. Jesus was God. I mean, nowhere in the story do they have any notion that this baby Jesus is anything other than the king of the Jews. I think we project back onto them that they got it and that they were worshiping Jesus. Just look at all the crush scenes, right? That's what we do with it. But that's not the story. <laughs> In fact, after they give them their gifts, finish paying homage, they just go back home. That's it. That's all we know of them. They just head on back. It doesn't say they converted to Judaism. They stuck around, waited for Jesus to grow up, and then started following Jesus. Doesn't say that. They just went home. <laughs> I mean, did this impact their lives at all? Do you get it? They missed that God was right there with them. I think the wise men missed it, that God was right there with them. In fact, I don't think they were looking for God at all. God was looking for them, sent them a star to follow, but they didn't see what was right there in front of them. They missed God. This year at our house, we hosted Christmas for my side of the family. So we had 20 people coming the day after Christmas, which is great fun to have everyone together, but it's a lot of work, right? And yes, anytime you have that many people coming over and it's family, anxiety goes way up, right? Well, for Christmas this year, my boys are really into Nerf guns. Nerf guns. I mean, everybody's got Nerf guns. Lots of bullets. And, I mean, Nerf is making a killing on this stuff. Uh, I even got a Nerf gun for Christmas. It shoots eight rounds per second. <laughs> it's actually good therapy. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun stuff, let me tell you. So anyway, my boys have all these Nerf guns, and they're super excited that the whole family is coming over for Christmas. In particular, there's this one cousin of theirs who they really like, kind of look up to him. He's my nephew. He's in college at App State, and he plays with them. You know, he has a good time with them. So it's a big time that this, this cousin of theirs is coming. Well, everybody's coming around lunchtime, so all morning, the boys are preparing to attack my nephew with a surprise ambush as they drive up the driveway. I mean, we have detailed plans about who will be where. We had a sniper in the treehouse, <laughs> one hiding behind the fence, one behind a car. I was going to be up on the second story shooting down at him. 
So they're super excited, and the energy is just pumping, right? Energy's going. Now, we're all still trying to get this house clean, set up, you know, everything getting ready. So again, here comes that anxiety, right? So the morning goes on. They're getting more and more ramped up. My temper is getting shorter and shorter <laughs> with them, with everybody. My patience is just running low. It's the holidays, right? Running around, getting everything ready. Let's just say by the time my family was about to be there, I did not have the Christmas spirit. <laughs> and then my nephew, he pulls up in the driveway, and the boys start yelling, they're here, they're here, and they run to their ambush spots. Now, what pops out of the car is my nephew in a full-body Spider-Man costume, <laughs> wielding two Nerf guns in each hand, <laughs> running up the driveway, shooting my boys, laughing hysterically. While they're shooting back, running around, everybody's laughing, having an epic battle, right? It's one of the weirdest scenes I've ever experienced. <laughs> Spider-Man in a Nerf war with my boys. It didn't have a thing to do with Christmas. <laughs> Except it had everything to do with Christmas. All that anxiety and tension of the day was gone. Love replaced it. Love replaced it. You see, I almost missed, I almost missed God that day. I almost missed God that day. <laughs> All that anxiety almost made me miss it. But it came to me. God came to me in the form of my nephew dressed in a ridiculous costume. He was my star. He was my star. And it set the tone for the entire day, a memory that our family will have forever. God is right here with us, in each one of us, in each one of you. Too often, I miss it. I admit it. I miss it. I'm like the wise men from our story, and I miss God when God is right in front of my face. And in the season of Epiphany, which is this cold, dark winter, when it gets dark at 5.30 in the afternoon, we need to be aware that God is with us, in each one of us. So pay attention to the stars in your life, whoever they are, however odd and surprising they may be, even if it's Spider-Man in a Nerf war. God is constantly seeking us out and leading us back to God, so as you get back into your routines this new year, remember the wise men, remember them, and don't miss God. Amen.